Support for Carolina Business Review provided by Grant Thornton. Operating in more than 100 countries, our tax, audit, and advisory professionals specialize in helping companies unlock their growth potential. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of South Carolina, where healthcare is changing for the better. Find out how at ahealthysc.tv. And by Sonoco, a global manufacturer of consumer and industrial packaging products and provider of packaging services with more than 300 operations in 35 countries. With a parliamentary government under the rule of a constitutional monarchy, Spain or España is the fifth largest country in Europe. And even given its recent economic challenges, the 14th largest economy in the world. A country that is most surely rich in history, you could say that the founding of America and the opening of the new world, as it was then, was underwritten by Spain. Of course, the Spanish Queen Isabella funding Christopher Columbus's trip. Welcome to the most widely watched source of Carolina business and public policy. I'm Chris William, and this time we welcome to our region His Excellency Ramon Gil Casares, the ambassador of the Kingdom of Spain to the United States. We will meet him and begin in just a moment. Major funding also by Novant Health, bringing you world-class technology, clinicians, and care when and where you need it. The Duke Endowment, a private foundation enriching communities in the Carolinas through higher education, health care, rural churches, and children's services. And by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina, who's responsible for rising health care costs? Join us and many others in a candid discussion at letstalkcost.com. This edition of Carolina Business Review was recorded November 20th, 2014. On this week's program, an executive profile featuring Ramon Gil Casares, ambassador of Spain to the United States. Now, here's Chris William. Uh, happy holidays. Welcome to our program. Excellency, welcome to the U.S. Welcome to the Carolinas. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, nice to have you here. We, um, we're we're going to jump right into it. Let's, let's start with an easy topic like immigration. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, I say that a bit tongue-in-cheek, Your Honor. Um, uh, we have quite a debate going around immigration. You have had quite a debate about uh, Spanish immigration, intercompany, intercountry and intra-country in the European Union. How do you think the dialogue, when you look at the dialogue that goes on in the United States about immigration, what do you think we're missing? What do you think would be important to make sure that we discuss? I, I wouldn't dare to uh, <laughs> uh, give advice to the United States in, in, uh, in, uh, in any matter, less of all, in, in immigration. I can tell you how, how we saw it, even though we, our immigration is different from yours. We don't have a country as large as Mexico mm -hmm. and, and as large as, as a land border as you have. Our border, as you know, apart from the two cities in, in the north of Africa, Ceuta and Melilla, which, which are bordering Morocco, is basically a land, a land border. We're 14 kilometers uh, north of um, Africa from Tarifa, the southernmost uh, village in Spain or, or town in Spain. You see clearly the north of mm -hmm. Africa on a clear day. Uh, so we've had um, um, immigrants coming to, to Spain illegally uh, by, by the sea. But most of them have come by plane. When during the late 90s and the early 2000s, when the situation was good in Spain, construction, which is labor intensive, was the big business. Mm -hmm. We have lots of immigrants coming in, so much so that at a given point, 10% of our population where, where immigrants, we had about four or five million immigrants coming. Mm -hmm. um, many came from Latin America, uh, which was uh, a, a, a blessing for us, basically, because those are, um, the, the risk with immigrants is that they can um, go into ghettos and, and, and get to themselves mm -hmm. and, and not mix. With the Latin Americans, in our case, they were basically, and I'm going to, they said, uh, Christians, they had this, basically the same beliefs, they all spoke mm -hmm. Spanish, the second generation is absolutely Spanish, much like uh, what happens here in, in your country, um, and they caused no problem. There were some more problems, 
uh, in, in, in certain points of, of uh, time and, and regions with uh, small communities coming uh, from Africa. Uh, there were um, poor communities not finding jobs sometimes mm -hmm. and, and maybe, and it's only natural uh, when you have your five-year-old um, boy that's uh, been hungry, you don't find a job and you pass um, by, by a food store and nobody's looking, you pick up an apple. Mm -hmm. And that is only natural. But it's only natural that the fifth time somebody picks up an apple from a, uh, from a store, the, the guy at the store gets, gets angry and that created uh, some problems. Luckily, I can say that that doesn't happen. Um, it is true that the, the situation in Spain uh, during the last five years was not good in, in economic terms. Many of the immigrants that came b b because of the opportunities that we had didn't have them there anymore and, have, and, and went back. Many of them went back as Spanish, mm -hmm. especially many of the Latin Americans. Um, so, um, and, and right now the, the images that you see of, of the um, young Africans trying to uh, get so away yeah, from yeah, Africa and, and, and trying to scale and, yeah, the yeah, wall yeah, yeah. In, in the cities of Ceuta and Melilla. Um, well, the numbers can be big, but we're speaking about 700. Yeah. Uh, those, those are the numbers that we're facing right now of, of the ones that have been able to jump in and, and come illegally. So it's not um, a, a real big thing. I, 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 but I think the issue, and I think is what the problem is here, is um, if you, how do you integrate, or how the, the, the immigrants integrate in your society, and what do they mean for your society? And then on, a, on another issue that we also went through, when you have uh, lots of illegal immigrants, mm -hmm. do you make a, a regularization process and make them all or all, all legal, if that would that not be a, a call effect for some more illegals to come, mm -hmm. and that's something you have to balance. And I know you uh, you will balance it. I don't know which what what the, the 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 solution will be. We did a legalization process, and that was the only one. And and then it was legalized little by little. There were lots of controversies, but I think in the all run in, in the long run. Um, because this country is a country of immigrants, because we are a crossroads and we've had people coming from all over and we're a very mixed uh, country with different cultures uh, and even sometimes very racially distinct the north from the south. Mm -hmm. um, we, we all end up assimilating what comes and, and, and I think it's, it's, at least we don't feel it as a threat to our own um, being as Spaniards, our own uh, culture, if you want to, and I think that's that's the the, the, the bigger threat that we fight, at least in Spain, sometimes. Yeah, People there, saying, "Why?" Yes. Yeah, well, I, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think of so many things. I think of the rate of unemployment in Spain right now, and that how that factors it. But even even before that, Mr. Ambassador, how do so you've got all of these competing interests, as you said, the North and the South can be as different as day and night. You've got the Catalonian vote that has has decided that they want to be separate from Spain, and so how do you keep this national sense of being a Spaniard? in the face of high unemployment, in the face of challenging with immigrants that are coming over a wall, in the face of some Spanish, and it's not even going to sound right, but paramilitary action to manage some of that, that, that immigration. I mean, how does Spain keep it from just spinning out and, and the country fracturing? How, how do you do that? Wow. Uh, but, but that, that that's, that's not even the job. I, mean, I don't know how you have that question to start with. <laughs> no, I, I would like to go to Catalonia because you said something that is not quite true. I mean, it's okay, not that please. the Catalans want to uh, break up. But let me let me uh, go back with, to to uh, immigration since we were there and, and finish with it or finish with it. Uh, at least uh, um, I have a couple of more uh, comments. Um, uh, the immigration had no effect on, on how we were north and south. We're not that different. I mean, uh, I tell you, we're racially different because may, maybe uh, in the north there were more Celtic influence and in the south, mm -hmm. uh, naturally, there was more. We, we were a Muslim nation for eight centuries and we were very proud of our nation, of, of our uh, um, 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 Arab and, 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 and not so much Muslim because there are not many Muslims in, <coughs> in that many Muslims in Spain. <coughs> But our, our cultural heritage, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, cities like uh, Cordoba, Granada, Seville, we're very proud of, and, and those were basically the big Muslim kingdoms, the big Muslim 
caliphates. Mm -hmm. It's become a, a, an ugly word right now, and it's a normal word. <laughs> we studied in history all the time. Caliphate is nothing but kingdom. Uh, so, um, and, and we're very proud of them. Um, um, and 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 the thing that I tell the the the, the, the uh, it, it's not a problem of assimilating. Uh, it's a problem of assimilating when when there's something that uh, you cannot relate to, but at the end you manage mm -hmm. to relate to easily, and and and, uh, and and I don't think that's been a problem. You spoke about uh, Catalonia. Yeah, yeah. Catalonia is is a region of Spain. It's been Spanish for a long, long time. It has its distinct, its distinct culture, as as do the Basque in the north mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the Galicians. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm the son of a Galician. In the northwestern, we have our own uh, uh, language. And then in the Basque country, where the, the, the Basque is, always, is, is also spoken, even though it's not widely spoken, more now than it was during my time. My mm -hmm. mother never spoke Basque. And she was from San Sebastian. Um, now, in, in Catalonia, that has had a very strong uh, uh, and, and, and different culture for many, many years. Everybody speaks Catalan among the Catalan And this community. is Barcelona now. Now, Barcelona, yeah. Barcelona is the capital of Catalonia. Yeah, yeah it's the right. big city of Catalonia, the second city of, uh, of Spain. Uh, and and um, to explain what the situation is right now, when, when, when Franco died, and I'm sorry to go 30 years back or 40 years back, yeah. Uh, we had a, a new constitution and, and that was passed by a um, referendum mm -hmm. in all over Spain. The region that voted most in favor of that constitution was Catalonia. 96% of the people, 92% of the people that voted, uh, voted in favor of Catalonia. And, 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 and the, 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 the participation was higher and it was in the 70% uh, of, of the, of the um, census voted in favor of that. Um, uh, now, so during 40 years, we've lived all. I mean, 20 years after that, the, the Barcelona Olympics took, took place. It was a big national effort mm -hmm. uh, to have the, national, the, the Barcelona Olympics. Um, those of you who were there, uh, you, you saw that all the announcements were made in Catalan and in French and in English and in Spanish. And Catalan is distinctly different than Spanish. It is, it is you can, I mean, you can, sometimes you can understand it, but it's, distinct, it's as different as French and Spanish, yeah. let me put it this way. It's a Roman language, and it's in the family of the uh, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and, and, and Catalan. Spanish Castilian, depending on yeah. what you want to say. Um, so, but you saw, uh, going back to Barcelona, Spanish flags all over. This was 1992, so uh, 30 years back. Yeah. Uh, now, um, when the crisis hit, hit Spain, it hit Catalonia. And this is 2008, the financial this crisis? Is, well, yeah, yeah. 2007, 2000. Yeah. It hit the, the uh, Catalonia in, in the same way as it did Spain. Catalonia is about, uh, what, 70% of the population and 20% of the GDP of Spain, right. in more or less in terms. And, and, and uh, it, it, it hit Catalonia as it hit the, red, the rest of Spain. The measures that were taken by the government uh, after 2012 um, were difficult. We had to work, um, do lots of reforms in different sectors. We had to uh, do a, a, a fiscal uh, reform, and uh, sometimes it was felt hard on, on, mm -hmm. on the population. We could not do the policies that were taken in the United, in the United States with a very flexible monetary policy and, and having lots of liquidity in the market, basically, because we're a member of the euro, Mm -hmm. And the monetary policy is managed from the European Central Bank. Okay, so yes. we could not. All we could do is, was you can either have the, the fiscal tool or the monetary tool and the reforms. So we didn't have the monetary tool. We could only work with the fiscal tool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it was uh, hard for everybody in Spain. The regional governments have their own uh, autonomy in in some economic matters and and, and fiscal matters. And 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 then the reforms they might do in the areas of the competence, health, education. Um, in Barcelona, there was first like a, a, a center-left coalition of government that didn't do well. There were elections. The center-right came in. They didn't do well either. Yeah. And there was this sense of desperation: How do we get out of uh, of of the crisis? And unfortunately, it was the, the 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 big idea that maybe the thing to do was to um, change the, the, the fiscal relations with the rest of Spain. Uh, they came up with the idea of fiscal ba balances. We're paying more than we're receiving. 
but Catalonia is the fourth largest region in uh, richest region in Spain uh, after Madrid, the Basque Country, and 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 the Canary Island and the, and the Balearic Islands, I yeah. think. Uh, and sure, those those regions have fiscal imbal imbalances. Except the Basque Country has a, 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 a totally different regulation. So, so, and, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, but in the interest of time, so and, and because we have so many things, I want sure. to get into this. Sure. So basically, Catalonia felt like they were having to write a larger check to bear the, some of the brunt for the rest of the country. But l let me let me, if, if you don't mind me, just no, sure, that. sure. So I mean, let me uh, let me fast forward. Okay. So now, post 2008. Um, You've had growth, GDP growth so far this year is about a half a percent. Uh, many economists, certainly a lot of U.S. economists, expect Spain is going to grow by 2% next year. Mm. It's about a $1.4 trillion economy, 14th largest. So you've got 25% unemployment. You've got 40% unemployment in the 18 to 25-year-olds. How does that particular dynamic factor in to the reforms that are in place now, Mr. Ambassador, and, and, and how you think that's going to work? Um, okay, you've cut me out from Catalonia, and I want to go back if you allow me, because basically <laughs> yes, there, was, there was a straw poll last last <laughs> week, and that, that I went and that I went I went the interpretation because uh, 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 let me, uh, and, and I'll fast forward just to the yeah, end. Yeah. Last week there was a straw poll in Catalonia. <laughs> they, should have be, they wanted to have a a, a vote for uh, uh, independence or not, uh, uh, distinctly from from the UK. This mm -hmm. would have been illegal. The, the, it, it's unconstitutional. That it was it was unconstitutional by the constitutional court. So we cannot. It's just as if here, because the situation was bad, there was a, somebody came up with the idea of, of having an independence vote in North Carolina. Yeah, that right. wouldn't be allowed by Washington because well, it's unconstitutional. It would be allowed, but it wouldn't be allowed. It, it would be allowed, but it wouldn't be recognized as being an honest, not an honest, but a, a true vote. Well, that's what happened in Spain. Okay, I mean, right, the, the, okay. the, the, when they wanted to make it uh, legal, they said, no, this is not legal. So they came with legal. sort of a yeah, yeah. troll the secessionist came up with the right. idea of doing this thing. And, and so they prepared something without a census, without a legal basis, uh, with all, all the, 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 the mass media of the government in favor. Nobody was controlling the, the, the recount. There was no impartial authority controlling right. it. That said. Uh, it is true that two million people voted, two million two hundred and fifty thousand people voted. Out of those, eighty percent voted in favor of independence in a very cumbersome question, which instead of asking independence yes or no, asked, "Do you want Catalonia to be a state? Do you want that state to be independent?" So you had two questions. Uh, you didn't know what happened if you voted yes and no. So, so, so not to spend a lot of time. So eighty percent said yes of the two million out of a region of seven and a half million. That yeah. Voted. So one third voted, two thirds didn't vote. Right. Okay. Um, All right. So, so high, what's the, and here's the magic bullet. What's the answer to high unemployment in Spain? So given all of those things we just talked about, how do you put in tough <clears throat> Okay, we've done all the, uh, and, and that's why we're starting to grow little by little. And this is going to, it's not going to be something that we're going to create um, four million jobs in two months. You don't that, think that, people think that, though, that do is, you? That is not going to happen. Yeah. That you don't think people expect that the Spanish government is going to do that? No, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, we're not going to grow at rates of four, five percent as we did in the late '90s when this all this uh, uh, number of jobs were created and the immigration came in. Uh, so we're going to do it little by little, and it's going to be a much more solid thing. And we're, we're and, and above all, we have to run away from the um, growth problems that, that that we had in the 90s where mm -hmm. there was a big real estate and construction sector that grew mm -hmm. uh, and all of a sudden there was a bubble and exploded bubble. as it yeah. happened here. Yeah. Um, but the difficulty we're having right now is after having done all the fiscal reforms, we don't have the possibility of injecting uh, lots of capital in, in, in the market because it is the European Central Bank that is doing um, and the, the, the monetary policy and you know that uh, countries in Europe that are historically concerned with the word inflation, mm -hmm. you say inflation and, uh, and, and, and they go crazy. But, so but Spain doesn't have inflation. If oh. anything, Spain has it we almost, almost have, deflation. We almost have deflation. Yeah, right, right. I, I, I know. But again, we don't control that, that policy. That, that's in the hands. And that's, about, I know that uh, the, the president of the European Central Bank, Mr. Draghi said it was going to be more flexibility, and 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 uh, and and we hope that is going to happen. The banks right now are not lending uh, 
uh, in, in uh, quantities to the small and medium-sized enterprises, and those are the ones that create jobs. The big firms have access to capital in the international markets, and, and they do lots of things, and it's wonderful. And we have lots of investments in Spain. We have big American mm -hmm. companies investing in Spain. I always brag about Spain is going to export Ford cars to the United States next year. Uh, because they have a plant, Ford has a plant in Zaragoza in Spain, and they're making a model that's going to be for the American market. So, so it makes us proud. But, but Mr. Ambassador, that's a great point. So what would, the U.S. is not a top five exporter and not a top five importer for the Spanish people. How do you, how do you change that dynamic? How do you how do you get more trade? Is it is it the TTIP agreement that's uh, that's in play? The TTIP agreement uh, uh, could be you can understand that uh, trade you do with your neighbors. I mean, you, right. your biggest trade partners are Mexico and Canada, as cannot be otherwise, regardless of their of their size uh, worldwide, their economy. So the, the, uh, in our case, it's the same thing. It's, it's France and and, uh, and, uh, and 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 Portugal, and, and we trade with uh, mm -hmm. with the U many with the European, mostly with the European unions and with the neighbors. But uh, the U.S. is our biggest trading partner uh, in, in in trade matters um, outside the EU. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's the largest investor in uh, in Spain, so uh, that that makes yeah. you very very important. Let, let's uh, uh, let's shift to something national, okay. uh, something more nationalistic to Spain. Uh, hard to believe, but it's been ten years ago, and I say this with with uh, with with most reverence and most <coughs> respect. But ten years ago, since the 311, uh, 311 was like 911 for those in the United States that doesn't know, uh, a, a horrible terrorist attack. Uh, in Madrid, on the bus line, you were in town. How did that change the fabric of the culture of the country? We have had, we have had, uh, uh, Spain has been fighting terrorism for a long, long time. Some of my um, fellow countrymen from the, from the Basque uh, country wanted, uh, wanted independence. They've never gotten uh, anything in, in, the, in, the, in the votes and they resorted to terrorism. As you know, ETA was a very cruel and there were a thousand people that were killed throughout our, our history. Uh, uh, and, and we knew that terrorism was there. We never thought we were going to be attacked by a, a group such as, such as um, that it was. We think it was Al-Qaeda, but it's never been proven who really it was. There were, it was uh, one of these Islamic, extreme Islamic uh, terrorism. And, and that shocked. Um, as, as you know, um, during that time, um, the, the government had um, accompanied the, the, the coalition that was formed by, by the United States on, on the second war mm -hmm. in Iraq. There has been discrepancies in Spain as there were here in many other countries. Should we go? Should we not go? Do they have um, um, uh, these this weapons of my destruction? Do they not? What is the UN doing? There was mm -hmm. a big confusion at the time. And these people were um, uh, wise enough and mean enough uh, to do the, the attacks two days after the election process. Um, and they followed a path that had been proven that to have been wanted to be used by the ETA terrorism from the north. So at, at the beginning, during two years, nobody knew who, who, mm -hmm. who had been. Um, and, 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 and in this, uh, as we call it, ceremony of confusion. It's been them, no, it's been them. You're putting the blame on them because you think it benefits you for the elections. No, you're putting the blame on the others because you think it benefits you on the election. Uh, the elections were affected. Uh, people voted um, and, and there were insults. In fear? You think people voted out voted of fear? Voted in fear, voted in rage. Uh, there were insults at, the, at the, um, um, the ballot boxes between one and the other. It was a very difficult moment for Spain. As years have passed, and that having been forgotten, and two elections have been have passed since then, and, and the issues are different from the ones that were uh, thinking back on, 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 on. Um, and we have about thirty seconds. I hate to tell you that, but we have about thirty seconds. Now, in March, we've we've realized that, that there was a big attack on Spain, and that has helped to unite our, our our people. The the remembrance of what happened ten years back. Do you think Spain stronger now or more diverse now than it was ten years ago? Both. In diversity, we find strength. Yeah, well said. Uh, Et pluribus unum, you say in your. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, you're a nice man. Thank you for being on well, the thank program. Thank you. Thank uh, you for and, inviting me. And we certainly hope that you uh, you get all that you want as you spend time in D.C. as the, as the ambassador to the United States. And thank we're glad you. to have you in the Carolinas. Thank you. Mind. Thank you very, very thank much. You. And happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank there. you for watching our program. Uh, until next weekend, I'm Chris William. Happy holidays and good night. Major funding for Carolina Business Review was provided by the Duke Endowment, a private foundation enriching communities in the Carolinas through higher education, health care, rural churches, and children's services. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Who's responsible for rising health care costs? Join us and many others in a candid discussion at letstalkcost.com. Grant Thornton. Operating in more than 100 countries, our tax, audit, and advisory professionals specialize in helping companies unlock their growth potential. Novant Health, bringing you world-class technology, clinicians, and care, when and where you need it. Sunoco, a global manufacturer of consumer and industrial packaging products and provider of packaging services, with more than 300 operations in 35 countries. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of South Carolina, where healthcare is changing for the better. Find out how at ahealthysc.tv. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Promotional consideration provided by Business North Carolina Magazine. For more information, visit carolinabusinessreview.org.